Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Helen and today we're going to have a practice uh, for happy hips. So perhaps like me, you've been sitting a lot more for the last week or two than you normally do and you maybe feel a little bit tight through the, the lower back and hips. So we're going to try and help with that a little bit today. So in terms of props, if you have um, one of the larger yoga blocks and a strap, grab those. If not, we can improvise. So for a strap, you can use a scarf or a rolled up tea towel. And for our improvised yoga block, you can grab a blanket, a couple of good sized <laughs> novels, and we'll just wrap those in the blanket and make ourselves a little block. Don't need them right now, unless you want to sit on them for your centering. So grab what you need to get comfy for centering. You don't have to have your legs crossed. If your knees don't want to drop down, you can always prop with extra roll blankets there. You can sit with the legs in front of you. You can have your back against a wall. It doesn't matter. Just come to a seated position where you can sit still relatively comfortably for a few minutes as we get centered. So if you've got any um, injuries, surgeries through the hips, please be careful with this practice. Listen to your body. And if at any time it just isn't working for you, hit the off button and go and do something that feels way better. All right, so as we get centered, I invite you just to put one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Let's shrug and roll the shoulders a couple of times. And then I invite you to gently close the eyes. Soften across the forehead. Relax around the eyes. Soften through the jaw. Let the teeth come a little apart. And then soften the base of the tongue. Finding or imagining that beautiful little smile at the corners of the mouth. And then let's take three nice breaths into the hand that's on the belly. So as you're ready, a nice breath into that belly. Good. Feel the hand come forwards a little as you breathe into that belly. Let's do a couple more, please. Just listening to the sound of that breath. One more. Good. And then let's take three breaths into the hand that's on the chest. Nice, easy breath in. Soft exhale. Soften the shoulders. Good. Couple more there into the upper hand. Good, and then we're gonna put those together for a full body breath. So as you're ready, we'll breathe into the belly and then fill up the side ribs, breathe into the upper chest, and then exhale from the belly and then from the ribs. Let's do a couple more, breathe into the belly and then fill the ribs front, back and side. Exhale from the belly and then soften the ribs. Good, one more, belly first, then rib cage. Exhale from the belly and the chest. Good, and then just float the hands down to wherever you would like. They can be fingertips to the floor, hands on the knees, palms up or down. Give the shoulders another little shake and then relax the elbows. And then just allow yourself to drop your day. If the mind's busy, just put any thoughts onto a back burner. Soften your edges and just come into the space that you occupy, noticing how the body is feeling as we get ready to start our practice. So notice the neutral spots, the happy spots. And if you do have any areas that are talking to you, just remembering to be kind, to be honest. If you need to fast forward something, or just to slightly modify it, please go ahead and do that. It should feel great. It's yoga, so don't push through any pain that you have. So just come back to that breath. And we're just gonna take a little mantra here as we settle into the breath. So as you inhale, think to yourself, breathing in, my breath grows wider. Breathing out, my breath slows. 
Breathing in, my breath grows wider. Breathing out, my breath slows down. And as you exhale, just soften now the neck and shoulders. With your next exhalation, soften through the ribs, front, back and sides, relaxing the arms. Breathing in, my breath grows wider. Breathing out, my breath slows down. Soften now through the back. Notice any tension you might be holding and let it be. Next exhalation, soften through the hips and pelvis. Feel yourself sinking a little deeper down into the earth. Following exhalation, relax the legs, the feet. So coming back to that full body breath, belly, ribs. Nice, easy exhalation. Let's take two more of those lovely breaths. Last one. Good. So as you're ready, let's awaken those fingers and toes, give them a wiggle. Inhale, bring the hands to a prayer position. On your next inhalation, push it all down into the earth, lift the heart, lengthen up right to the crown of the head. Good. Exhale, drop the chin down towards those fingertips. And then let's just sweep a little side to side the chin, as if you were drawing a little semicircle with the chin. Little horseshoe, good, left and right a couple of times. Good, even it out. And then come back to center with the chin still down, lengthening that back of the neck, cervical spine. Good. And then as you're ready, let's slowly blink open those eyes. Take a moment, ask yourself what it is you most need from your practice today. And I invite you to set that as your intention for this class. All right, let's come up to the light. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, so we are going to um, stay seated. If you want to change the cross of the legs, if you're feeling like that would be a good thing, you can do that. You don't have to have legs crossed. You can totally be in a little straddle. I have my hips propped up on the edge of my folded blanket. That helps to keep my spine tall, but see what works for you. We're just going to stir the pot here. So we're going to inhale, grow tall. We're going to go to the right, leaning a little bit forwards. Good. And then come to the other side, exhaling. Good. So you inhale as you come backwards. You exhale as you come forwards. There is no rush. Just completely synchronize the movement with your breath. So don't worry about the speed I'm going at. Good. Keeping the spine nice and long. The head stays steady. We don't let that roll around. And we're just getting into those hips a little. See how it feels? Good. Let's do a couple more. Finding that breath. Good. One more. So, don't worry. We'll go the other way in a bit, but just for now, stay where you are. And we're gonna just do a little bit of front crawl here. Good, well, inhale, one hand, exhale, place it down. Inhale, reach a little back with the other arm. Exhale, so you're turning a bit now, we're getting a little bit of movement through the torso, through those ribs. If your shoulders are talk, talking to you, just keep those arms low. Nice, good. And if you want, if your flexibility allows, you can start to come a little bit further forward each time. But if that means you have to lift your derriere off the floor, then stay where you're at. Good. Let's do a couple more and then we're going to take a static stretch here. So, when you kind of feel evened out, come to stillness. Keep the shoulders down, so don't hunch them up here. Try and draw them down. Grow the spine long, bring the heart through, and then come into your forward bend where you feel a stretch, but it's not too much. You can negotiate a little here. Sometimes we can get a little 
more of the stretch by moving. Good. Soften the neck and the head, and we'll take three breaths here, nice and easy. Check in with the face, try not to frown and tighten up the mouth. Try and uh, keep the face from doing too much yoga. Good. Last breath here. And then as you're ready, on an inhalation, slowly push yourself up. Good, give those hands a shake. All right, so if you're in a straddle, stay right there. You'll just be doing more of the same. If you have your legs crossed, let's change the cross. Again, sitting tall. So this time we're gonna to go to the left. So inhale, nice and tall. To the left, good. Exhale, let's stir the pot this other way. Good, just notice if it feels any different if you do have the legs crossed, if it's any different with that different cross or if it's just different going in this direction. Good, shoulders are soft. Try to keep both sit bones on the ground here. synchronizing that with your breath so we inhale as we come back where we have the space exhale roll it forwards good let's do two more good all right come up to a nice tall spine and let's do our little front crawl again good inhale exhale plant the hand inhale little flexion through those ribs good you can let the head turn to the side as well here. Yeah. Good. Perhaps if it's okay for you, reaching a little bit further forward each time, if you can still keep those sit bones on the ground. And if it feels not too bad. Good. Keep the shoulders low if you need to. Let's do one more each side. So let's get into the stretch through the hips again. You can negotiate and wiggle. And if you're here, that's just fine. Good, doesn't matter. Just come to where you feel a good stretch. Relax the head a little, soften those shoulders, good. And then we'll take three breaths here. And if you need to come up a little, do that. If you need to keep moving, do that. Breathing into the belly, into the rib cage. Nice steady exhale, releasing tension, good. One more breath here. And good, and then on an inhalation, gently pushing up. Good, shake out those hands and let's shake out those legs, good. So, we're going to do a little seated um, cow cat back bend forward bend I'll just flip sideways for this one so no props for this one and you're going to have the knees bent feet can be on the floor or they can be a little bit picked up so the inhalation we're going to draw the hands back lift the chest through there's our back bend as you exhale drop off the sit bones round the back coming backwards round out drop the chin and have one arm crossed on top of the other. Good, notice which arm is on top. We're gonna to change it. Inhale, come up. Exhale, roll back. Round out the spine, chin to chest. Other arms on top, good. So we inhale, we lift through, draw the elbows back and down. Exhale, it's a little bit of tummy work, sneaky tummy work. Good, inhale, open across the chest, lift a little through the throat. Good, exhale. And if it's too much to come that far back, you can just do a tiny little kinder version of this where you hold the legs, you still get that beautiful back bend and that forward bend, but it's a little bit less intense. So see what suits you. Good, and we're trying to draw the belly a little to the spine as we exhale, just to use some of those deep core muscles. Good, keep your shoulders low and back. Let's do two more after this one. Good. Breathing, breathing. Telling the face it's okay. <laughs> Last one. Nice work. Good, come up. 
Very nice. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more of an intense stretch for the hips now. So what we're going to do is we are going to cross, I'll turn this way, we're going to cross the right leg over the left knee. Now if that is already way too much for you, you can cross at the ankle, okay? So we'll cross that one ankle over the knee. So the legs extended at the front there. Reach the hands back, quite a bit apart, fingers pointing away from you. And then we're just gonna roll side to side here. Nice and easy, no rush. And you'll probably find some interesting spots through the hips. Good. So if there are any spots that you kind of want to linger with, you can kind of go back and forwards over those, maybe work out some kinks. If this feels like it's not too much of a stretch for you at all, then to, to make it a little more of a stretch, bring that extended leg closer in. Good. And if you do that and it just is horrible, <laughs> take the leg back out again. Good. So keeping the shoulders away from the ears, chest lifted. Let's play around with this for a couple more breaths, rolling from one hip to the other. See what you've got going on in there this morning. Good. All right. Let's come to stillness. Give those wrists a little shake. And we'll cross the other leg. I'm thinking it's your left but I'm not entirely sure. All right, so start with that right leg a little further out. Let's do the same thing. And then you can see whether on this side you need that bottom leg further out, or whether you could perhaps bring it further in. But listen to your body, be kind. This is meant to be a helpful practice, not make you feel worse. So play around with it. Might be different this side. Good, are you breathing? How's the face? <laughs> this is a really intense stretch. We'll do another version of this on our backs in a little while. Good. Again, working through any spots if you want to sort of linger and go over those. Let's do a couple more. Good, last one. Good, and then let's come to center. Nice work, all right. Might want your blanket behind you. We're just gonna come into Baddha or Cobblers. You can have the feet way in front if things are tight. If they're not too bad, you can have the feet a little closer in. So watch that you're not squeezing shoulders here. Maybe it's nice to have the hands on the knees if that draws the shoulders down. We'll just do a little butterfly bounce here, just sort of to get into those groin muscles a little. Very nice work there. All right, so we're gonna come onto our backs now, and we're gonna need our yoga block handy. So if you need to wrap your books in your blanket, you can do that now. If you have a block, you can have it handy. We don't need it straight away, but just have it off to one side. All right, and then we'll lay down. Again, make sure you don't hold your breath here. Coming down, still breathing. Good, all right. So let us very gently start with Apanasana, which is where we bring both knees in towards the chest, one hand on each knee, fingers pointing towards the shins. Flex the toes a little, that way we stretch the fascia on the soles of the feet, stretch the Achilles, calves get a little action. Good, so we inhale, we push the knees away, straighten the arms, keep contact with the hands and knees. Exhale, squeeze a little those knees into the chest. So the knees are a little bit apart. Good, shoulders are relaxed, you can give that head a little roll here. Good. So just traveling with the breath, very gentle. Inhale, feet away. Exhale, knees in. So check in with your intention whilst we're here. Find that breath, that beautiful full body breath. See how the mind's doing. If it wants to wander on you, on you, just bring it back to the sensations in the body. Bring it back to the breath. It's really apt to wander. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you notice it. And bring it back. Good. Let's do a couple more. Nice work. Last one. 
Good. And then very gently float hands and feet up to the ceiling. Legs do not, do not have to be straight. We're going to make some wrist and ankle circles. Now I know lots of you really like to beat egg whites when we do this and go crazy. Really slow it down. There is no rush. Good, nice and easy into those joints. Doesn't matter whether you're going the same direction or different because of course it's yoga. And we'll go the other, other way in just a minute. Let's do two more of these. Keep a nice bend in those knees if your back is sore, good. Let's go the other direction. There might be lots of rice crispy kind of noises. So if you can hear me popping and crackling, don't worry. It's all good. It just means we needed to do this today. Good. A couple more in this opposite direction. Good. And then shake that out. Good. And then we're going to bring those knees back into the chest. We're going to bring the legs together now. Ankles and knees. We're going to row little circles with the legs together as if it was sort of one limb. So now you're going to be rolling across the lower back to one hip. And then you'll roll over to the other side and it kind of gives you a little back massage here. So let the body roll with this. We're not trying to glue the pelvis in place with this one. See if you can keep the toes a little to attention. Mine got lazy on me there. Good. So just massaging that lower back. Good. Stretching those glutes that when we sit all day, just get really lazy. Yeah, it's me time. So, one more this direction, good, come to center and we'll go the other way. So, the inhale is when the hands are extended and the knees are furthest away from you, we've got the space there in the body. Exhale as you squeeze the knees in, good. Inhaling arms away, exhale, bring those knees in. Good, hopefully this one feels yummy. If it doesn't, just Take a moment and join us for the next one. Good, last one this way. Good, come to stillness. And now we're gonna row a sort of a sideways figure eight where we take the knees apart. So bring the knees a little into the chest, take them apart, feet come apart, hands come apart. And then we bring everything back home. So inhale when the arms and legs are furthest away from you, bring it together. Exhale as you squeeze in. Good. Keep the hands on the knees, otherwise there's a real tendency to overwork the lower back. So notice your shoulders and neck. Could you give that head a little roll to make sure you're sort of soft there? How are the toes? You got lazy on you? Let's <laughs> see if you can flex a little through the feet. Good. Notice how this feels through the groin, through the belly. Let's do one more this direction, please. Good, come to stillness. Then as you're ready, we'll go the other way. See how that feels? Now I've got some really clunky gear changes at certain points here. If you notice that, see if you can smooth those spots out. It means a little more work, perhaps through the belly, maybe through the back and the legs, but see if you can really smooth these circles out. Good. Let's do one more here. Good. Very nice. And again, float it up. And this time we're just going to shake it out. Wrist soft, ankle soft. Good. All right. And then very gently, let's place those legs back down on the ground. Let's do a little baby bridge here. We'll come into a bigger bridge in a little while. But just for now, let us take both hands down to each side of the mat. Take a hold of the mat with your hands and just pull your shoulders away from your ears. Shuffle them down, good. And then turn your palms up about a foot or so out from the hips. So the feet are a little ways from the seat. They're hip width apart. I invite you just to pick up your toes, spread them really wide, stretch those toes, and then place them down and just feel the sole of both soles of both feet really evenly on the ground. We want to push into the feet in a really balanced way when we come up for bridge. So as you're ready, we're going to push into those feet. We're going to inhale about 75% of what you think you can do. Come up just a little. Exhale, lay that spine down one vertebrae at a time. Good. So just with your breath, inhaling, rising up through the pelvis. Exhale. 
So try not to tighten the seat too much here. We're trying to use these quads on the lower belly here. Good, evenly through the feet, the knees are aligned with the ankles, face and neck are relaxed. Find that breath and let's do a couple more of these nice gentle bridges. Good, last one. Take it down, nice work. All right, so now we're going to march the legs in one at a time. So we'll inhale, we'll pick up one of the legs, exhale, place it down. Inhale, pick up the other one. You can squeeze either behind the thigh or front of the shin, doesn't matter. Just alternating that march. So if this feels like plenty for you today, stay right there. If you want to perhaps go from a little further away, you can start with those legs extended and give that a try. If, you are, if you're crossing the fingers when you clasp, Change the interlace of the fingers each time so the other little finger will be at the bottom when you clasp. Just keep your mind a little balanced. You can always try from the sort of full out posture where everything is stretched out and then you hug in. But that's not for everybody's shoulders. So if that brings tension and pain, then it's not for you. So just come back to the more kind and gentle version. Good. So we're gonna do a couple more. And then the next time that you have the right knee into the chest, we're gonna keep it there. And we're gonna plant the left foot on the ground. So if you had your left leg extended now, just bring it back and plant it on the ground. Good. And we're just gonna roll the head side to side. Good. And then we're just gonna see if we can squeeze that right leg a little closer in, watch the shoulders for tension. And now we're going to extend that left leg slowly, draw a line with the heel all the way to the end of your mat. Good. We're going to flex both sets of toes. Roll that head, soften through the neck. Good. Calm to stillness. And just feel the stretch here. So it's a stretch through that right hip. It's also a stretch at the top of the left thigh, those hip flexors there. They can get really chronically tight, so this is a great stretch for those. Good, we're just gonna breathe into this stretch for three big breaths. Watch for tension in the arms. Good, another couple of breaths in this stretch. You can always be holding behind the thigh here. Good, so we are gonna vinyasa here, we're gonna move here. So the breath is a little counterintuitive, but this is our inhalation. And we float that left leg up towards the ceiling as we exhale. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, you can keep a little bend in that leg. It doesn't have to come up straight. Good, but we're just gonna gently with the breath, exhale that leg up, inhale it down. Soften the shoulders, soften the back, good. Let's do a couple more. We're building a little strength here as well. There's some flexibility, good. Good. Let's do one more, please. Good. All right. Give the toes, the ankles a little wiggle there. So just for kicks, we're going to throw in a little bit of core work here. It's important to keep that strong. So you can just stay and relax if you want and just stretch. But if you want to try, what we're going to do is on um, an exhalation. So you'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, you could hover that left leg an inch or two off the ground and pick up the head and shoulders. Watch for tension through the arms and neck. If that's too much, just come straight down. Otherwise, we're gonna try and stay for three breaths here. So you're trying to pull the belly down to the spine, still breathing, but just engaging those core muscles. If the neck's talking to you at any time, just come down. Good. One more breath in and out, and on your next inhalation, slowly lay that down. Good, nice work. All right, we're gonna do a little spinal twist and then we're gonna do all of this, if I can remember it, on the other side. So you're gonna take that left foot and you're gonna place, no, you're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna place the arch of that gently over your left kneecap. You can have it lower down the leg if that's more comfy. But we'll try with the arch of that right foot on the left kneecap. You're gonna take your right arm, just a little lower than shoulder height, palm out on the, Palm down, sorry, on the ground outside. 
and then you're going to take your left hand somewhere onto that right knee. Inhale, grow tall, flex a little through the sole of the left foot. And as you exhale, you're going to come into a little spinal twist here. Now, if this is too much, come back to center, plant both feet on the ground, have both arms out to the side and just drop the knees over together in one piece, okay? That's the, the modified sort of gentle version. So, we're trying to encourage this right shoulder to soften down to the ground. It might not be there. Um, and if it's really talking to you, you're just gonna place that right hand on the right hip. The head, if it's okay through your neck, can gently be looking to the right. So the opposite way from the legs, just to complete that twist. So take a nice easy breath in, crown of the head. As you exhale, let it wash all the way through you, relaxing you. So soften the legs and feet, relax those toes. Soften through the chest, the arms, the face, good. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Just enjoying that beautiful spinal twist, good, one more. All right, so very gently, we're gonna come up and out of that. Just give both knees a squeeze into the chest. Before we do the other side, we're gonna do just three little bridges. You can add arms here, or you can just do bridge like we did before. So to add the arms, only try this if your shoulders are relatively happy. As you inhale, the arms would come up and over. As you exhale and lower the hips, the arms lower down. Good, so you can do it with or without the arms. We'll do two more, perhaps coming up a little higher than when we first did it, but don't overdo it. Good, remember to use that energy wisely and well. Good, one more here. Good. All right, so now we're going to bring, I hope, the left knee into the chest. If you did this one before, do, do the other one now. Change the interlace of the fingers. So, other little finger at the bottom. Good, give that a nice squeeze, soften the shoulders, roll the head to check for tension. Good, another breath here. And then very gently, let's extend that right leg, maybe, <laughs> away from you. And then we'll flex those toes, feel that stretch through the bent knee hip and that top of the thigh there, good. Another breath or two here, settling in, relax the back, relax the face, good. So as you're ready, we'll get ready to vinyasa here to move. So take a nice inhalation, exhale, float that leg up. It can be bent, good. Inhale, lower it down. So we're using some core strength here. Good, but we're trying not to bring tension. So see where you can soften amidst the work, yes? Good, floating this, watch the shoulders, give the elbows a little wag. Good, how's that face? The face and the breath will tell you if you need to perhaps take a rest or go a little less hard with your practice. Good, we've got two more in us, maybe, let's try. Good, last one, take a rest if you're done already. Good, very nice, all right. So let us, hmm, I've forgotten completely. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a spinal twist. Let's come into our spinal twist. So let us place the sole of the left foot on top of the right knee. Good. Now remember, if that was too much on the other side, you're just gonna plant both feet, have the knees together, drop into your spinal twist with the knees in one. Felt swoop, otherwise, right leg is extended, that bent, Knee foot is gently over the kneecap. Good. We're gonna have that, hopefully, left arm a little lower than shoulder height out to the side. Right hand is wherever it wants to land on the left leg. So before we twist, we need to grow tall. So inhale, lengthen through the top of the head, perhaps flex a little the sole of that extended leg foot. Good, and as you exhale, use the arm to gently draw that knee across the body Good, if that left shoulder is talking to you and really peeling off the ground, just place that left hand on the hip. Good, you can look in the opposite direction from the knees, complete the twist if you wish, or have the head in neutral or to the same side. See which honestly suits your neck better here. 
And then we'll take three nice easy breaths in this twist, just letting everything soften and relax now. Soften the feet, soften the arms and legs. Really soften the belly and the ribs as you exhale. Good, one more breath here. Good, and then as you're ready, let's reassemble ourselves, come back up. Good, let's have a little hug in. You can give everything a little shake if you want. Perhaps you want to take happy baby where you could grab backs of the knees, maybe the ankles, possibly the feet. Bringing the knees a little towards the armpits and have a little roll around. Good, or maybe you want to just do some wrist and ankle circles. Whatever suits you, we'll just take a couple of breaths, shaking that out. Good. And then we're going to use our block, our homemade block or our yoga block, block, doesn't matter which. So grab that. We're going to do bridge on a block. So you're going to grab your block. You're going to come back down. And then you're going to lift up those hips and you're going to place the block beneath that sacrum, the sort of widest bone in the back. So you're completely supported. So you don't want your tailbone hanging off this. You want to be nice and supported here. Feet are a little wider than hip width apart, a little ways from the seat. Let's take a hold of the mat again. Pull those hands down and then turn the palms up. If this doesn't feel nice, gently lift up the hips and slide the block out and just come back to bridge on the floor. Good. Roll the head. And then we'll just take a couple of breaths and supported bridge here, softening everything. So you can stay right here if that feels good. Otherwise, you can try a couple of different things. You can try walking the legs out a little. Take them about your mat width apart. Maybe do one at a time, see how it feels. And that'll give you another hip flexor stretch through the tops of those thighs. If that's too much, just come back or do one side and then the other. Good, so you can take a few breaths there, feel that stretch across the lower belly. And the third thing you can try here is a little inversion candle. So you can try perhaps floating one leg up. Go easy at first if you've not done this before. Maybe then the other leg. It might be that you feel okay about floating both legs up. You can keep the knees bent. You can have them straight. Doesn't matter. Do whatever feels best for you. Check in with your intention. And if at any time this doesn't feel great, just come back down either to supported bridge or to that hip flexor stretch. So we'll take about three more breaths here, doing whatever it is that best serves you today. Finding that breath, keeping the mind with the breath, with the sensations in the body. And just relaxing. Good, let's take one more breath here. Good, so. Let's all just walk our feet back into that bridge position. And then we're gonna pop those hips up, push into the feet, lift a little, slide that block out to the side, and then very slowly, we're gonna lower down. Hopefully we created a little bit of space there. Good, so last thing we're gonna do on the floor here, take those feet about mat width apart, so feel the outside edges of the mat under the feet, feet are a little ways from the hips. So you can either have the arms just lower than shoulder height, cowboy surrender with both elbows bent, if that's okay. Perhaps the arms overhead, doesn't matter. Inhale, push a little into the earth. Exhale, drop both knees to the same side. Good, inhale, back up through center. Exhale, both knees to the other side. So windshield wipers, we call these an ancient yoga term. <laughs> Good, so inhale, the knees come up to the ceiling. Exhale, the other side. So you can add the head here if the neck is okay with that. So you would take the head to the opposite side from the legs. Good, so you're rolling along the back of the head, turning it to the opposite side from the knees. Only if that feels okay. Good. This is one of the best exercises for soothing your central nervous system. So if you're a little stressed out, a little frazzled, try this one. Good, let's do one more each side. Good, and then as you're ready, come to center of the arms up overhead, bring them down. 
take a moment to have one more little squeeze here, maybe a little roll around. You can cross one ankle over the other if you want. And then you can try the other ankle on top, see how the brain likes that. Good, and then as you're ready, we're gonna gently come up to seated so you can roly-poly up if that's available. Otherwise, if that feels a little bit too much today, just come onto your side and slowly make your way up. Good, very nice work there. All right, so we are going to do a little cow-cat, perhaps a little downward dog. So we're gonna come onto all fours. If you like to have a little padding under your knees, grab that blanket. Good, and then just make your way onto all fours. If you need padding, you can always roll that mat for the wrists. Good, so just line up shoulders and wrists, knees and ankles. Knees are about hip width apart. And as you're ready, let us inhale into an upward cow. Arch the back, exhale, round out. Push the earth away, good. Inhale, slide the shoulders back, lift the head and the heart. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Push up through the shoulder blades. Good, inhale, slide the shoulders back. Exhale, round out, pushing up between the shoulder blades. Good, let's do one more. Good, and then we're just gonna sit back and rest the wrists. So sit back however you like. You can always sit back with the toes flipped if you wanna stretch there. And let's just interlace and make that little wave with the hands just to give the wrists a break. Good, and shake those out. All right, we're gonna try and add a downward dog. If you know that that's gonna be a bit much for your shoulders and wrists, just stay with the cow cat. Otherwise, let's come back here. Tops of the toes are down. So, we'll inhale, we'll come to our up of cat. We'll exhale, arch cat. Good, inhale, come to your upward cat, tuck the toes. Exhale, send the seat a little away. Keep the knees really bent. Heels are off the floor. You're on your toes. Good. Fingers are wide. Good. Nice work. Inhale, drop the knees. Come back to your upward cat. Flip the toes. Exhale. Arch cat. Good. Let's try that downward dog again. So inhale into the upward cat. Flip the toes. Exhale. Into your down dog. Really bend the knees. Be high up on the feet. If you are happy with a straight-legged down dog, you can begin to bring that tailbone up and start perhaps walking the dog a little. Otherwise, just stay in a nice bent knee. Downward dog, relax the head, draw the shoulder blades back, bring the biceps sort of to squeeze in a little together. We're gonna to try one more breath here. I know this is work. Nice job. Good, as you're ready, inhale, rock forwards into your outward cat, turn the toes down. Then we're gonna push back to child. So you can take the knees wide or together, maybe get rid of your knee pads, and then just sink the hips back as far as is comfy for you. Maybe that you do want a little bit of sort of block there. And then you can rest the head on either the stacked fists, backs of the hands, or perhaps the head can come down. And we'll take a couple of nice big breaths here. So as you're ready, we'll gently come up. Good, and we'll come to seated. You can have a little bit of a prop behind you. Good, so we're gonna do some twists just to close up our practice here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the right leg extended, have the left knee bent and pulled in, have a little bit of a distance between that leg and this foot. Good, so we're gonna do an open twist here. So I invite you to inhale that left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, place it a little behind you. Actually, this is a closed twist. And we're gonna to turn to face that knee, forgive me. Good, we're gonna squeeze here. Now, if that feels like it's okay for you, you can always put that left leg over the right and come back into the twist. So once you're not leaning backwards here, slumping, use that back hand to prop yourself up, lift the heart, soften the shoulders, a little flexion through that foot. 
Find the breath, it's tough in the twist. So imagine you're breathing into the back a little here. Good, the inhale grows you tall, push down into the earth, exhale, soften. Good. Chin is in neutral, we're not sending the head back, so just soften that neck. Let's take one more breath here. And then let's come to center. So we're gonna try a little forward bend here, which is a bit of a hip stretch. So maybe that you want to have the legs sort of in a more figure four position. I like a bit of padding between my ankle bone and my thigh, and you can have the knee here. If you're feeling a little bit more uh, flexible today, you can try taking that left leg across and stacking the kneecaps here. But just watch that. It can be a rather intense stretch through this hip. Good. So keep a little softness in the back of that extended leg. We're going to reach up, grow tall, reach up and lengthen through the side ribs. And then we're going to exhale and come into a little forward bend. Now this might be where you're at, which is completely fine. And we're going to negotiate like we did at the start of the practice. So watch this. It's a stretch for the hamstrings. It's a stretch through the hips. Those of you that um, have been doing yoga a little longer could come into shoelace here. So you could take that bottom leg wrap it around you. Maybe you need a little padding underneath to bring those sit bones to neutral, but then you could stack the knees and come back into a, a bit of a cow face or shoelace forward bend. Good, and then soften here. Whatever version of the pose you're doing is perfect for you right now. Soften into this stretch. Find your breath. We'll take about three more breaths here. So very gently, let's make our way up. We're gonna unpretzel ourselves. Good. Give those legs a little shake out. Good. And then we're gonna do the other side. So we'll pull the right leg in, have it some distance from the left if you need that space. If it's okay to cross over, you can do that. We'll inhale the right arm up, grow tall. Exhale, place it behind you and wrap that left arm around that knee. Good. So shoulders are soft, but we're growing tall through the spine. Use the back hand to lift the chest through. Good, a little flexion through the toes of that extended leg. Check in with the shoulders and the neck, and then we'll take three nice big breaths here. Check in with your attention, see how that is. Inhale, think length. Exhale, think relaxing. Soften, soften. Good, one more breath, please. Good. And then as you're ready, inhaling back to center. Good, so we're gonna come into our forward bend. Again, you can have that blanket, take the leg a little out to the side if that feels better for you. Otherwise, you can try and stack the knees here or if it's available on this side, you can come into your cow face legs. Doesn't matter, wherever you're at is fine. Whatever position you're in though, let's grow tall. Inhale, and then perhaps even lifting the arms. Exhale, come into your version of this forward bend with the hip stretch. Slide the shoulders down, relax the face, relax the neck. Come out of it a little if it's too much. You can always come up for a moment, and then see if with the exhalation you could soften a little deeper. A big part of your yoga practice is what we call Santosha in yoga, which is contentment. It's really kind of bad for us to always be thinking, well, I'm not good enough at this pose and I should be able to do this. Don't do that to yourself. Just try and be happy with where you're at right now. Find that contentment in your practice, enjoy the stretch. Know that it's okay to back off. And just settle in for a couple more breaths here. Coming out soon if you need to. Good, very nice. That's a tough stretch. Inhale, come up. On pretzel. And let's just do a little windshield seated. So drop back onto those hands, drop back a little with the seat. Good. Side to side. How are those hips 
<laughs> we gave them a big old stretch. Good, so it is absolutely time to lie down. I ran out of time to do the things that I was gonna do with the strap, so I'll have to do those in another class, forgive me. Let's get ready to lie down. So if you want pillows, bolster under your knees, you can do that if you'd like to have your legs up against the wall, get settled into that, there's no rush. Make sure that you don't hold the breath as you come down. After you've come down, perhaps have one more little squeeze in of the knees, maybe roll the head one more time. If your lower back is talking to you and you don't have any props for under the knees, you can just bring the knees together, turn the toes in, so you're slightly pigeon-toed, and then sort of those tented knees provide a little bit of support to that lower back. And then the hands can be on the belly, they can be out at the sides, palms up or down, wherever you want them. Perhaps you want to pull your blanket over yourself and get cozy. Just take your time. And once you're settled, close the eyes. Come back inside to where you started your practice. And we're gonna take three big sighs together. So take a regular breath in and out. And then a nice, easy inhalation. Exhale, <sighs> sigh down. Good, let's do two more. Nice, easy breath in. Good, louder this time. <sighs> Side out, good. One more. Beautiful big breath in. Exhale, side out. Good, and then nostril breathing if you can. Close the mouth, soften the lips, soften the tongue, the insides of the cheeks. And just allow yourself to sink down into the support of the earth, letting go of all the work. Nice work, by the way. Smooth out the forehead. Soften the closed eyes behind the lids. Soften the skin and the muscles around the eyes. Relax the skin around the ears. Whole face completely at ease. Take a nice easy breath in and as you exhale now, soften the shoulders, the collarbones. And just feel the back of the body almost flattening and widening beneath you. Soften through those hips that you worked so hard. And let the legs feel really heavy and relaxed like they're filled with sand. And then I invite you just to bring your focus to the right side of the body and take three breaths as if you were breathing just into the right side. Bring all your focus there. And take three breaths into that right side, relaxing the entire right side of the body with each exhalation. Good. One more breath into that right hand side. Good, let's switch to the left side. Nice breath into the entire left side of the body. Fill it up with air. Exhale, soften that left side. Shoulder, hip, seat. Good, two more. Exhale, left side relaxes. Good, last one with that left side. Good. And then just come back to your regular breath. Nothing to fix or change. It's perfect as it is. And just notice now. Breath in, breath out. Softening through the belly now with that exhalation. And if your mind wants to wander and you need a little something to tether it to, just try a little phrase, a mantra with your breath. So as you inhale, think to yourself, breathing in, restoring. Breathing out, relaxing. Breathing in, restoring. Breathing out, relaxing. Imagine bringing whatever it is you need in with that inhalation. And as you exhale, let go of anything that you no longer need to 
hold on to anymore. Just let it be. Breathing in, restoring. Breathing out, relaxing. Go deeper. Soften the shoulders, the neck. Breathing in, restoring, breathing out, relaxing, and let the whole body be filled with that sense of relaxation from the head to the soles of the feet. And then very gently, just start to bring your awareness back to the senses, the light on the eyelids, the sounds in the room, the feel of the clothing, the air, the earth beneath you, the taste in the mouth, the scent in the nostrils, coming back to the sound of my voice and just Fanning your awareness now out to fingers and toes, down those arms and legs, and as you're ready, perhaps with a slightly longer breath in and out, I invite you to very gently awaken those hands and feet. A little wriggle as you come back around. Good. And then just take a moment to then perhaps move the head as you work your way up towards whatever stretch or movement the body is asking for now. Take your time with that. The body will tell you. Good. And when you've had a stretch or two, come on to one side or another, whatever feels best for you. And still with the eyes closed, just check in now with the breath, the body, how the mind is doing. And once you've taken a moment to check in, plant the hands, open the eyes and slowly, slowly make your way back up to seated. So really nice work today. Thank you so much for bearing with the hiccups I had. I'm still getting used to this <laughs> teaching without students in the room. It was such a delight to hang out with you and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.